Oh yes, I'm busy warming up because I'm slightly dreading for what Mordena is about to put me through. But we know, you know, there's that saying, summer bodies are made in winter, there are no excuses. But sometimes your fitness routine, it really takes a dip when the temperature does. And we need a little bit of extra motivation to really stay into that routine. And here to show us how to spice up some of your favorite leg, glute and ab exercises is personal trainer Mordene Small. He is here to show us how to do it. See, I even wore the electric colors because I'm so energized for today's workout. Purely because I'm petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Mordene, good to have you here. Absolute pleasure to be here. So we are doing body weight exercises today. Yeah. Should we just jump straight into it? I feel yeah. like I've warmed up. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we actually know we'll start off standing up. Uh, so we'll start off with what's called the Cossack squat. Okay, so that is, it's like a squat, except we're gonna be going sideways. Okay, so we're gonna be on either side, either side of your mat with a nice wide stance. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna shift your body over to one side and squat down onto one leg. Okay, so keep that, the training leg nice and straight, and then you're gonna stand up nice and tall. Okay, and then you're gonna drop down onto the other side and back up again. There we go. And we'll just work side to side there. So try and get as deep as you can. Okay, drop those hips back, just like a squat. Keep that chest up and the back nice and straight. We'll work side I to side. I take it the there. more you do this, the fitter you'll get, i.e. the more flexible, so you really yeah. can get deep. So it's a bit of mobility as well. Which is, which is good, you know, we don't uh, really stretch too often. Um, so it's a nice way of actually warming up and getting mobile as well. Okay, definitely warming yeah. up. <laughs> there we go, nice. Okay, and in the next one, uh, we're gonna be down onto the mat. Okay, so um, lying flat down, it's called a hollow rock. Okay, so you're holding a, holding like, uh, holding a position, okay, and keeping those, the core nice and tense the whole way through. So what that'll do, what we are gonna be doing is lying flat down, okay, arms up over your head, okay, keep your shoulders up off the ground, and then you're gonna have your legs just hovering slightly off the ground. Okay, you're gonna keep your lower back nice and round, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll back and forth. Okay, and try and hold that position. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it does get quite tough after a while. So an exercise like this, you wouldn't really go for reps, you'd maybe go for time. Okay, so you See how long you can hold that position for, rolling back and forth over there. And of course, there your core is really, really instrumental because you don't want to injure your lower back. Absolutely, yeah. So you actually, funny enough, you want to keep a nice round back, okay, so to protect, protect your back. You don't want to arch your back too much. It's a nice round back, just like a bowl, working side to side. Okay, amazing, amazing. So now yeah. we've done a little bit of the legs, we've done a little bit of the abs. When it comes to your body weight, are we going to focus a little bit on the arms? Yes, indeed, we are, actually. So the next one, it's a variation of the plank. Okay, so um, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna get into the plank position, okay, so onto your elbows, okay, and then what I want you to do is extend those arms out a little bit further. Okay, then okay, you're gonna get yourself up, oh, like a push-up, yeah, onto Sorry. your push-up. <laughs> there we go, and then you're gonna bring your knees up to your elbows, and then back down again. Okay, this is a tough one. This is quite Ooh. a tough one. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Oh. Yeah, so you want to, um, it's a little bit for the arms. Okay, so you get a nice little extension there with a the, with the tricep, and then you obviously bring your knees up, you get the, get the core engaged as well. Now, I need to ask you, for someone like me who kind of struggled with that one, and I yeah. like to use the excuse, I just put yeah. the on my hand. Um, <laughs> yeah. A modified version You could definitely that. do that on your knees as well. Okay, so but on your knees, you would um, still want to get your hips as far forward as you can, and get those arms out, and then exactly the same, down and up over there. Okay. There you go. Yes, you still get it. You still get a bit of core work, you still get some arms in there, and it is still pretty, pretty challenging, even on your knees. Oh, amazing. Well, I know that you've showed us a little bit of a warm-up. We've now focused on our glutes, our abs, our arms. A final cool-down for us. Final cool-down? Oh, cheapest. Okay, so um, you can do a little bit of uh, um, bit of squat mobility as well. Okay, so you're going to get into a nice deep squat. Okay, so deep squat over there. Push those knees apart. Okay, you'll hold there for a few seconds, and then you're going to work side to side, keeping those um, heels nice and flat, and then you're gonna push those hips up nice and high. Oh. There, yeah. and then you're gonna drop back down. And we go side, to side, and then hips up 
There we go. There we go. Oh, Mordna, it's so great to have you here. Thank you for showing us a great body weight workout that shows you don't need to be in the gym to be able to do this. And of course, it is winter and don't allow that pressure of winter bodies or made in summer to get to you. You've got this, take it exercise by exercise. And of course, we'll always continue to bring you more on your Feel Good Breakfast show.